This is the program on page 7 of Coding for Beginners Using Scratch. And we're doing number one, first steps. It says try dragging these two blocks from the motion menu into the script area to make the cat walk. And the first one is point towards, so the motion is the blue stuff here, so you have to click on motion. And then we have to point towards, that's this one right here. And we'll drag that out there and then you have to tell what you want it to point towards and there's only one other thing so far and that's the mouse pointer so that's what it will point towards and then we want it to move 10 steps okay now um, then we want to go to the sound which is the kind of pink stuff I guess here and we're going to play the meow sound okay so we just attach that now none of this will actually happen unless we tell it that we want it to happen when this event occurs, when they click on the green flag. So we have to click on events here and all of our programs are going to start this way. So when clicked we're going to point towards the mouse pointer and move 10 steps and then we're going to say meow. So this is going to happen really fast because it just does these things once. So it'll, it'll point real quickly and then it'll move and then it'll play the sound. So watch what happens. Here we go. Go. Okay, um, it only, it pointed towards the mouse pointer, which was up here by the green flag, so it turned pointing in that direction, and you probably couldn't see it move because 10 steps isn't very much on here, but it did move a little bit, and then when, after it moved 10 steps, then it played the meow sound. Okay, now, uh, we want to make him look like he's walking, so he kind of moves his feet, is what we're looking at here, and so we want to add another motion command. And the motion command is, uh, let me see, we want to, I'm sorry, that's not motion, it's looks. We want to go to looks, and we want to have him go to his next costume. Okay, so the next costume is, um, basically, it's another picture of the cat. And there's two pictures of the cat. Okay, so when you play them one after another, uh, he kind of looks like he's walking. So notice how right now he's got his right foot out in front. And uh, let's run the program and see what happens when we run it. Okay, see how he bent the foot? And But that's all that happens. He just moves a little bit and then he uh, switches so that it looks like he's bending his knee. And then we play the meow sound and that's it. Um, now... We're on number four down at the bottom, and we're, we want this stuff to happen uh, more than just once. So we're going to put a loop in here, and a loop is a loop controls how often other instructions get executed. So it's on the control group here, and so let's click on control, and we're going to grab the repeat ten, and it's got these jaws here that will open up when you put it around a block of instructions like that. Okay, uh, we have to reconnect it to our when clicked, and now let's try to run it and see what happens. Okay, so he moved ten times. Uh, even that was pretty quick. Um, and um, we're going to let me see. I only played the sound once. We're going to drag that outside here. And um, now we'll try it again. And. Okay. Now, uh, that takes care of page seven. Now we're going to go to page eight here. And we're going to create a little game called Cat and Mouse. Okay. And. Um, if you look at number three on page eight, we've got point towards the mouse pointer, and we've got move 10 steps, and we've got next costume. So these three instructions are going to get done over and over again. I'm just going to drag them and pull them out here. Um, it looks like we're getting rid of the play sound, so just drag it over here and let go. And we're getting rid of the repeat 10. We're going to drag that over here and let go. And this time we're going to do a different kind of repeat. We're going to do a repeat until something happens. Okay, so, and we're going to put that around these instructions that we've already got from page 7. And what we want to happen, uh, we have to put something in here. And actually, when I clicked on it, it started executing the program, so we're going to stop it. 
Um, so I need to put something in here and what I need to put in there is uh, I want to be able to uh, sense when the cat touches the mouse pointer. Okay, so I want to do some sensing here and that's going to be the light blue. And so if I click on light blue um, and I want to go until we are touching something and what we want to be touching is, so drop that, you see how this has pointed ends on it and there's pointed ends in the repeat until, so drop that right in there and it fits right in and we want to repeat until um, the cat touches the mouse pointer. Notice that for all of these instructions over here, uh, this cat, sprite number one, uh, has a blue uh, box around it. So what that means is that everything we're doing right now uh, is attached to the cat. So when we click on the green flag, uh, the cat is going to keep on doing this until it touches the mouse pointer. It's going to move towards the mouse po or point towards the mouse pointer, move 10 steps, and then it's going to move to the next costume so it looks like it's walking. Okay. So I'm going to click on the green flag here and you know I've got a problem because I think he's touching the mouse pointer right away when I start and so it ends right away so what we're gonna have to do is um, we're gonna pull this down and we're gonna have him start off um, so it's this is a motion command I want him to move uh, back to the middle so otherwise it's not much fun if he catches me as soon as I click on the green. So I want to have him go to the middle. So we're going to tell him to go to X, Y. And the middle of the screen is 0 on the X and it's 0 on the Y. So you can just type over whatever numbers are there and then go up and reconnect. And now let's try running it. And the first thing you should do is go to the middle and then he's going to just try following the mouse and he must have caught me. So let's start it again and okay I'm just gonna to try to keep the mouse away from him as much as I can. He's moving pretty fast though but as long as I keep kinda of circling like this he's never gonna catch me. Uh, but and see how it looks like he's walking? He must have caught me. Okay. So we'll stop the program and um, Let me see. We want to put a got you command on the end here. And that's going to be, um, is that looks? Yes. Say got you for two seconds. Okay, so we'll leave the two there. But we're going to replace this with uh, the words got you with an exclamation mark. Okay. So now let's try it and we'll know for sure when, so it's going to keep doing this over and over and over and over again until finally the cat touches the mouse pointer and then he stops doing all this stuff and goes down here and says got you. So let's click on the green and okay I'm just going to keep away from him for a while here and then I'm just going to stop and let him catch me and he says got you for two seconds and then it goes away. Okay. Um, they add one other command there, and uh, I'm not sure that that really makes much difference. Let's let's try this, and let's try moving. Okay, if we move it over here. The cat kind of just kind of gets stuck, I guess. I'm not sure how he got me, but apparently he thinks he did. So we'll stop. And um, on the top of page nine, they add one instruction that says if on edge and that's a blue instruction so it's a motion and um, if we're on the edge of the screen we want to bounce off so we'll put that up here at the top of our loop and we'll run it now and we'll see what happens when he gets to the edge and he just uh, okay so before he's kind of flipping all over the place but now he's he just kind of stays there Okay, and I'm going to let him catch me now. I didn't think I let him catch me, but apparently he did. Okay, so that takes us to the bottom of page nine. And um, page 10 is going to be in another video, so we'll stop this video there.